Hi, and welcome to this update video. Waveform 9.1 is here, and with it are eight new updates. Let's start with the submix solo behavior. In previous versions, soloing your submixes gave slightly unpredictable results. That's been straightened out, and now it works pretty much the way you'd expect it. When I solo something within a submix, you'll still hear the submix itself while muting all of the other tracks. So I'll just demonstrate that here. So if I solo the actual submix, it'll actually allow you to hear everything within the submix. If I solo something within the submix, you'll hear the submix bus itself along with that one track, muting all tracks outside of the submix. This improved behavior makes submixes much more useful, particularly when you're mixing multi-track drums. Feature number two, there's now an add modifier on each track. I'll show you how that works. You do need to expand the tracks. I'm gonna hold on shift grab between tracks here to expand it out and you'll see it right above the plugins area if you click here now you can add from the lfo breakpoint step or the random modifiers so if i click lfo it adds the lfo right away i can then drag it onto one of my plugins we'll just add it to pan right there in addition, you can now do this with the mixer as well. So if we open the mixer, you can see all of your modifiers right within the mixer using this feature right here. This shows or hides, this is new, shows or hides the modifiers. If you click on one where there isn't one, then you can add a modifier to the track like that. From there, you can drag it to any of the plugins on that track. Now this isn't new, but it is new for Waveform version 9 is you can add plugins directly from the mixer using the plugin object. Just drag it to the track and you can add plugins in a way that's very similar to the way it works if you're in the normal track view. Waveform 9 added a data zoom feature that's available from the menu section by going under options, clip view options, and then audio thumbnail scale. So if you do this and scale up, you can add a little visual gain. This doesn't affect the sound, it just affects the size of the waveforms to make editing a little bit easier. In waveform 9.1, there is a way to toggle this on and off, and that's in the lower right corner. You'll see there's a little button right here. I can click that to go in and out of that zoom mode. Fantastic new useful workflow enhancer. And that brings us to feature number five, which is the recent plugins list. All you need to do is drag in a plugin, and at the top, we now have a recent list. So all the plugins you've recently used or you most commonly use appear at the top. So if I want to add a limiter to this track, I can just pick it from that. And let me just add a compressor to another track here, the traction compressor to the track. And now when I add this again, you'll see that appears in the recent plugins list. So as you're building out a mix, the things that you're commonly grabbing appear in this list. Just a great new feature. You don't have to do anything other than enjoy using it. Now let's move on to feature number six. Waveform has a very comprehensive scripting engine that allows you to do all kinds of things with keyboard shortcuts or to just create your own scripts, and then you can launch them from this run script menu. From settings tab, from the keyboard shortcuts page, as you're working on scripts using JavaScript, you can show the editor, but now here's the new feature, show API. Just click API, and it pulls up an HTML reference to all of the standard things you can do within Waveform, along with a lot of examples. So if we do something like merge clips, it jumps right into that section. You can use forward and back. This is really just a browser page. And you'll find all of your common things in here. You can also search it because it's an HTML page using Command F or Control F. I'm gonna search for fast. 
and you'll see fast zoom in. So I'll click on that and you'll see there's a little bit of code here. So this gives you an example of the code used for fast zoom in. This is the code used for fit five seconds around cursor and other things. So you can use these code examples to help as you develop your own scripts if you'd like to get into that level of detail. And that's the show API button in the script editor. Now let's move on to plugins. I'm gonna click the plugins page within the settings tab. And this shows all of the available plugins that you've scanned and that you're available to use. Notice at the top that you can look at various headers and you can adjust the view by dragging the divider between the headers. So you can see things like the format and the category. But the thing I wanna point out here is this alias category. If you type something into the alias category, you can essentially rename your plugins the way you'd like to see them. Sometimes it's nice just to be able to get a better view of if it's audio units or VST or VST3 style plugins, or you just wanna give it a more descriptive name. Like T Chorus is the Traction Chorus from DAW Essentials. So I can rename it Traction Chorus. And if I want it, I could add audio units to it. Now there is a icon that shows the different kinds of effects audio units, VST or VST3. But if you'd like to see it in text, that's one thing you could do is just add it in there. So I'll, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go to the other version of this. I'll edit that so it says VST. And now anything that I put in this alias column will show up when I go to use it. So I'll drag in the plugin object here, go to traction and you'll see that now I've got Traction Chorus, Audio Units, Traction Chorus, VST. So it's very clear to me exactly which effect I've got. Now you could use this any way you want, but that's just a couple of ideas. Very easy to use feature and a great way to organize your effects. And that brings us to new feature eight, the video tutorials page on the settings tab, along with notifications for those tutorials. If you click the settings tab, go to the tutorials page, you'll get a quick index into all of the video tutorials that are related to waveform. You can click these, it will launch them in YouTube and take you right to them so you can watch them. Now as new tutorials come out, you have the option to show a new videos notification. That is this little icon that appears up in the right corner. Even if you're in an edit, you can click this and it will then show the latest videos. Once you see these and you can pick one of the videos by just clicking it, it launches YouTube and you can immediately start watching it. So if you want to know when new videos are available, you can just look and see this little play icon in the upper right. And that means there's new videos you haven't yet watched. If you don't like to see that, you don't need to have that up there under tutorials. Just clear this setting and you'll notice that that little icon disappears. So in addition to all of the great new features that were released with Waveform version 9, 9.1 adds a lot of cool little tweaks that just keep moving Waveform forward and just make it more fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.